Hey, if you're getting ready to buy a kayak, don't do what I did. I waited for one to be on sale, but I knew I was going to have to transport it a decent amount of distance, more than I wanted to carry it, because I wanted a tandem kayak so my wife can go along. Now, one of the things I knew I was going to need a scupper cart. I needed something with fairly wide tires, fairly tall diameter tires. This thing's heavy. I got to get this thing to the water. I know I need a scupper cart. I don't have a kayak yet. Me being new to kayaks, not even having one yet, I'm thinking, okay, I'm looking and, and all the scupper carts are, you know, pretty much in the same range. So I found one that was adjustable. That should cover all sizes of kayaks. Didn't matter what the scupper spacing was, I was going to have it covered. I bought the scupper cart probably eight or nine months before I bought the kayak. Okay, imagine my surprise when the thing comes in or when I finally pick up a kayak. This thing is way past its return window and it doesn't fit. The scupper holes adjusted all the way out are too narrow for my kayak. So now I'm going to have to modify this thing. I came up with something that's going to work. If you can head off making the mistake in the first place, that's the best way to do it, but you can recover from it. And let me show you what I'm doing, and I'll show you how it works actually on the kayak, but I kind of thought it would be easier because I need both of my hands. I need the camera stationary, oh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let me show you what I came up with. One of the pieces is not on here right now. I'm going to show you, and and this is not going to be the way everybody's going to want to do this. I didn't want to modify the cart. I wanted to make an adapter so that in case I decided I didn't like the cart, I could sell it. If I get another kayak, I could maybe, you know, modify this thing right here, still use that scupper cart. Long story short, I didn't want to modify the cart. I made an adapter. Now this little detail right here, I'm going to have to show you in more detail to make this understandable. And this obviously is certainly not the only way that this can be done, and not everybody's going to have the tools to do this. Now, what I made, this is the same size as the piece that normally goes down in there. I put a couple of grooves on here, and I put two O-rings just for a little extra tension. This is going to go through the angle bracket you saw. A nut goes on there. I cut a shoulder into these two nuts. They go in here. Uh, first thing, I had to cut the shoulder off of these carriage bolts and thread them the rest of the way down. The carriage bolt goes through. The first location nut goes on. And all those do is keep this piece centered. And it's not mandatory. And this is certainly not the only way this can be done. I just happen to have the the tools handy to do this with. So this goes on and then another gem nut on the top. And of course, I'll go back out to the shop and snug these up a little bit. But this is going to go into the existing holes on the scupper cart. This is going to go through the scupper holes on my kayak. And then I made another piece that screws onto the top. So rather than putting a strap all the way around the kayak, I've watched guys do that where they get to a little, uh, maybe where some water's run across and their wheels get into that hole and they pull the kayak off the cart. This will go through the scupper holes and be screwed on from the top so that it's not going anywhere. And I'll show you all this stuff on the kayak. It'll make a lot more sense probably there than it does here. These are the adapters that I made. The original pieces will still work. They've got pins that hold them in. Uh, I chose not to make them long enough to do something with the pins. These are just going to fit in by friction. May need to be a little persuaded a little. All right. Well, as you can see, that's in there pretty solid. You can change the spacing on this. I just couldn't change it enough to compensate for uh, my particular cart because this is where they need to be, and this will only go over. A little more and I'm going to kind of center this up lock these down and I'll spare you the barking and I will 
get the uh, kayak over here and show you what that part looks like. It sits down on there fairly easily. These are the pieces that I made to lock it on. It's made out of actually two different sizes of PVC. You can warm this stuff up and then this one will actually fit in here. And then there is a nut that fits the all thread up on the inside of here. And this centers itself in the scupper hole. Spare you some barking. I'll put these on real quick. Once those are screwed in, then the wheels are fixed. And I think I can uh, get in, get through little ditches without anything coming up. Well, as you can see, all of that stuff went well. It would have been easier if the, this cupper cart just fit, but it didn't. I'm going to make it work. I'm not going to modify this for fishing yet. I'm going to take the kayak out, see if my wife even likes to go in the kayak. We don't know that yet. If she doesn't like going in the kayak, I'm probably going to get another one that's more suited to fishing. If she likes to go, I'm going to add an anchor trolley and some rods holders and things like that to this kayak if you want to follow along with that uh, subscribe it's gonna not going to be a fast journey because i only have one day a week off i work a six day work week just how it is that's going to be for the next year and a half i'm gonna throw a couple of other videos up here that you might like and i'll catch you in one of those or i'll catch you down the road